This is the story of a baseball player named Henry Aaron, perhaps one of the best ever to play the great game. Henry Hank Aaron was born on February 5, 1934 in a poor African American section of Mobile, Alabama. He was the third of eight children born to Estella and Herbert Aaron. The Aarons lived on the edge of poverty, in part due to the economic struggles of the Great Depression. At a young age, Henry picked cotton and did other odd jobs. He couldn't afford baseball equipment, so Henry got his practice in daily sandlot games by hitting bottle caps. Hank developed a love for baseball and football at a very young age and often focused more on athletics than his education. After a standout year at Josephine Allen Institute, Hank sensed a bigger future and quit school to play for the Negro Baseball League's Indianapolis Clowns. After leading the Clowns to a 1952 World Series victory, Aaron was recruited by the Milwaukee Braves for $10,000. Aaron was assigned to the Eau Claire Bears, which was a Milwaukee Braves farm team. Hank earned the Northern League Rookie of the Year award, playing in Eau Claire's very own Carson Park. In 1953, after the Eau Claire Bears, Aaron played in the Southern Atlantic League with the Jacksonville Tars. Hank won the Most Valuable Player award and led his team to a title. Henry Lewis Aaron made his major league debut in 1954 at age 20 after his spot opened up due to an injury. He batted 280 with the Braves, having a respectable first year. Hank was gaining experience and becoming a great MLB player. His next two years were phenomenal and he even snagged a batting title in the 1956 season. But the fans keep cheering. In 1957, Aaron took home the National League MVP by hitting 44 home runs, knocking in 132, and batting 322 for the Braves. Later in that same year, Aaron proved to be a big time player. His 11th inning home run against the Yankees led the underdog Braves to a World Series title in the 1957 season. Throughout all of the 1960s, Aaron continued to have great season after great season. In 1966, he clubbed home run number 400 off Bo Belinsky. In 1969, Aaron hit home run number 537, passing New York Yankee great Mickey Mantle. On May 17, 1970, Henry Aaron became the first major leaguer to have 3,000 hits along with 500 home runs. Once Hank started to get closer and closer to breaking Babe Ruth's home run record of 714, the letters started to pour in. Hank and the Braves received about 930,000 letters in two years, and many included terrible, inhumane death threats. At 7 p.m. on April 8, 1974, in front of 53,775 eager fans, Henry Lewis Aaron broke the all-time home run record with a fourth-inning shot off Dodgers pitcher Al Downey. Dodgers famous radio announcer Ben Scully captured the moment. What a marvelous moment for baseball. What a marvelous moment for Atlanta and the state of Georgia. What a marvelous moment for the country and the world. A black man is getting a standing ovation in the Deep South for breaking a record of an all-time baseball idol. And it is a great moment for all of us, and particularly for Henry Aaron. Now I want to mention some of Aaron's many great stats, records, and other accomplishments. Hank hit his 755th and final home run on July 20th, 1976 in Milwaukee's County Stadium. Aaron is the all-time leader in RBIs with 2,297, total bases with 6,856, and extra base hits with 1,477. These and some of his other accomplishments still stand after being retired for nearly 40 years. When most people hear the name Hank Aaron, they think baseball, but he has also done much more than hit home runs. Hank was elected to the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame in 1982 
opened Hank Aaron BMW in Atlanta, also opened a number of smaller restaurants in the South, and in 1990, Hank wrote his autobiography, I Had a Hammer. In 1999, the MLB created the Hank Aaron Award, which is given to the best offensive performers in each the American League and the National League. And in 2000, Hank Aaron was named to the All-Century Team. Hank also started the Hank Aaron Chasing a Dream Foundation, which provides financial assistance to those in need. In 2002, Hank Aaron was given the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Bush. I think Hank Aaron is such a great leader, not because of what he did, but how he did it. Hank always worked hard, whether he's picking cotton at age 8 to help his family, playing in the World Series, or trying to help the less fortunate people. He proved that all people, but especially African Americans, can do anything they put their mind to, even if it's playing in MLB or breaking Babe Ruth's great home run record. Henry Louis Aaron made the world a better place and we can all learn from him.